Did you know what you eat is affecting your eyes? Let me explain. So there are a hundred trillion, that's trillion with a T, microorganisms in your gut. And these microorganisms are affecting how you see. So what you're telling me is what I eat affects my sight? Absolutely, that's what I'm telling you. So put that Big Mac down. I'm kidding. We'll talk about how nutrition affects your eyes, but what you eat matters. The gut-eye connection is becoming more and more clear every day. What we do know is what you eat affects your entire health. Well, your eyes are part of that system and they are no exception. So let me give you three specific examples of how what you eat is affecting the diseases that affect your eye. Number one, macular degeneration. We know macular degeneration happens as we age. Well, the aging process makes these cells not work as well as they once did. Zinc is crucial to making sure the cells function the way they need to, to keep your vision seeing the best it possibly can. Well, if zinc is not being absorbed in the stomach or too much zinc is in the stomach, it doesn't make its way up to your eye and this perpetuates macular degeneration. Studies have shown that wet macular degeneration is more prevalent when there's a zinc problem in your stomach. Glaucoma. Glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve. Now, if you've ever heard of something called Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori, you know that causes stomach ulcers. Well, if you have an overgrowth of this bacteria in your gut, you're more likely to have inflammation. This inflammation will affect blood flow to the optic nerve. When we reduce blood flow to the optic nerve, you guessed it, glaucoma will progress. So two examples right there of a nutrient and a bacterium that is affecting your eye health. The last one I have for you is dry eye disease. Now, we know, if you watch any of my past videos, dry eye is an inflammatory condition. This inflammation will affect the lacrimal gland, helping you produce tears, or the meibomian glands, producing the oil that keeps the tears stable. If these glands are inundated with inflammatory products that come from the gut when we don't have a healthy microbiome, you're more likely to have these glands not functioning properly and causing the symptoms and contact lens intolerance that bothers us at the end of the day. Now, nutrition obviously affects your health, what can you do to keep your gut healthy? The two easiest things are probiotics and prebiotics. Prebiotics are what feed the bacteria, probiotics are the bacteria. If you have a diet high in whole fruits and vegetables, you're more likely to have a diet that's high in fiber. If you have a diet high in fiber, you really don't need a prebiotic. You're already naturally taking in the stuff that will feed the healthy bacteria in your gut. If you are not eating the diet high in fruits and vegetables, you wanna get a prebiotic as well as a probiotic. And probiotics are actually live bacteria that you consume. Things like fermented cheeses, yogurts, have these bacteria, and this will help keep your eyes healthy. If you got value from this, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.